rip this off the chimney. Here's a better view of that tree here. It is completely hanging over the house, which is this one here. That is on my property that has to come down. This one here is the one that's on the neighbor's property, and hopefully he'll have that one removed before too long. So after that storm, seeing how bad those trees were swaying uh, over the house, the neighbor ended up cutting down his, and shortly after that, I had mine cut down by a company. Unfortunately, I didn't have video, but I did have a couple pictures. Hello everyone. So today, I'm going to start power washing the house. Not just power washing, but I got a cleaner to use on the cedar to help draw out a lot of that uh, bacteria and everything that uh, allows algae and everything to grow, as well as to really deep clean it. But first, I gotta check these windows. Okay, so these windows, hard to say when the last time they were painted, and don't know how many layers of paint there are. But you can see they are peeling. But with as old as the house is, figured it would be safe to check for lead. So I'm using this lead test kit. So let's start with that. So first, with testing with lead, you want to cut the paint. You don't want to go long ways like this. You want to go down and cut into the multiple layers. And this looks like it's just one layer. But I will do it on the window itself too. There we go. Now you want to take your lead test kit and crush the inside of it. shake it up here we go let a little drop hung out and rub it on my cut after rubbing for 30 seconds there's no change in color or anything if it was lead in the paint it would have turned like a red or a pinkish color so the nice thing is, is I could hit this with the pressure washer and let some of this paint flake off without any issues if there was lead in the paint, what I would do is I'd scrape off all this loose paint and gather it up so it's not ending up on the ground. So here is the cedar wash I'm using. You can see here it is eco-safe and organic and it should clean out all the bacteria out of the cedar shakes. So let's give it a shot. Looking a little better already. You can see the difference when she dries. And you can see all this brown, nasty water coming off of it. Well, it's starting to get dark, so it's going to make it harder for the camera to pick up anything. I'm going to finish this little strip right here, but I'm not going to bother filming it. Uh, and then I'll probably call it a night with it getting dark.
All right, so I'm starting to hear some thunder off in the background. So since I'm working on a metal ladder, I'm going to call it quits for the night and I will pick up the next time it's not raining. Check it out, it's looking good. You can really see the difference between what's clean and what's dirty. The idea today is to get the rest of this side washed. I don't think that this house has ever seen a power washer with as much dirt and algae that's been growing on it. But just the difference in it, it looks great. I am ready to get it some stain on it and get these windows repainted. Until then, see you next time.